Amen, amen. Praise God. We give God the honor and the glory. We thank Him, amen, for this day. For this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this morning. I thank you, Father God, for this day. I thank you, Lord, as I command my day, command my morning. I thank you and I welcome your fullness in our lives today. Father, I bless your name because you are worthy to be blessed. You are worthy to be exalted. Yea, God, you are worthy, Abba Father, to be exalted, to be lifted up. I thank you, Father God, as I make my decrees and my declarations. I thank you, Father God, for your promises God I thank you Lord that you are the author and the finisher of our faith yea God you are a blessing Lord you are a blessing to us to generations to generations yea God we worship you Lord in spirit and in truth we bless your holy name God I will bless the Lord at all times yea his praise shall continually be in my mouth bless him hallelujah bless him whoever you are wherever you are this morning make your day to bless the Lord wake up and give praises unto the most high living God pray and worship him in spirit and and in truth we thank you lord we thank you for this day lord we thank you lord that you're going to move in unusual ways for us god we thank you lord that you're going to protect us and deliver us god in the name of your son jesus christ we thank you lord for the whole armor that we put on this day god we put on the whole armor of god and we thank you father god that no wickedness shall prevail over us because you have given us dominion and power over all principalities over all rulers of darkness, Father God, over all powers of wickedness, Father God. Yea, God, we bless your name, God. We bless your name, God, for you have given us authority according to your word, Luke 10, 19. And I make that declaration over my life right now. I thank you for the glory of God that is my protection. That is your protection. That's right. Begin to speak the glory of God being your protection over your household, over your lives, over your children, over every area, whatever Whatever's concerning you, your parents, your your grandparents, your uncles, nephew, nieces, whatever is concerning you. May the glory of God prevail over your lives today. May the glory of God arise upon your life today in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we just give God the praise right now. We just thank God for his glory. We thank God that his glory shall prevail over us in the name of Jesus. Oh, we praise you, God. Yay, God. We bless your name. We thank you for this day, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, as we put on the whole armor of God, that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the evil. So I pray this morning that you will put on the whole armor of God. And there's a purpose to put on the whole armor of God, to stand against the plans of the devil. That is why you have to put on the whole armor of God. Because the enemy, he has assignments against the body of Christ. So we pray and we we come into agreement we come in one accord amen and we put on the whole armor of god amen put it on in the name of jesus christ so that we will be strong amen we will be strong in the lord amen and in the power of his might amen that is the whole purpose to put on the whole arm of god to be strong in the lord and in the power of his might and not only to be in the power of his might but to stand against the plans of the devil so father over to you in the name of jesus christ your words say we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principles principalities against the powers and against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore father god according to your word we take unto us the whole armor of god that's right whoever you are put on the whole armor right now that you may be able to withstand evil day and having done to stand amen so stand right now whoever you are stand up right now and put on your whole armor right now having your loins girt about with truth having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod upon the preparation of the gospel of peace amen above all taking the shield of faith where if you shall be able to quench all fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always 
That's right. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching and where thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So we thank you, Father God, as we put on the whole armor, as we prepare for our day, this day that you have prepared for us. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for this day, God, that you have prepared for us. And I pray whoever's listening to the sound of my voice that you will put on the armor right now. That you will gird your loins about with truth. Amen. That you will prepare yourself to to stand against the enemy. Amen. But you can't stand against him without no armor. This is why we have to wake up early in the morning, make our declarations, make our supplications be made known unto God. Whatever you have desire of, whatever you have need of, make it known unto the Father. Father wants to know. He wants to hear our heart. He wants to hear our words. Amen. The word of God says in Psalms 5, I give ear to my words. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. For thou art not a God that have pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speaking, that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into my house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness. Because of my enemies, make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouths. Their inward part is very, is very wickedness. Their throat is an open scepter. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in you rejoice let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them let them also love thy name be joyful in thee for thy lord will bless the righteous with favor with thou compass him with a shield over to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I have read your word, God, so be unto me and whoever, whomever is listening right now. May the word of God be your provision. May the word of God be your portion in the name of Jesus. We give God praises right now that he is hearing your voice right now. He's hearing you because you are up and you are blessing him. From the north, from the east, from the south, from the west, you are blessing God in the four corners of this earth. You are exalting the name of the Most High God. Yea, God, we thank you, God, that you hear our voice in the morning. We thank you, Lord, that we take our prayer to you in the morning. As we command our day, command our morning. I thank you, Father God, that you do not take any pleasure in the wickedness. Yea, God, you don't take pleasure in wickedness, nor do you stand before those who walk before you in foolishness. Yea, God. You hate the workers of iniquity. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name, God. We thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I bless your name, God. I thank you, Lord, for you are our Lord and our salvation. I thank you, Father God. We rejoice in you, Father God. We put our trust in you, and we rejoice in you, Father God. And we shout for joy, Father God, because you defend us, God. You protect 
protect us, Father God. You deliver us, Father God. Yea, God, you are a joy, God. And we thank you for double portion of joy. I release a double portion of joy over whoever's struggling right now. Whoever you are right now, I release a double portion of joy. I release a double, double portion of joy. Yes, joy. Let your joy be restored today forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you have endless joy. May you have a sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus. May power and love be your portion. For God did not give us a spirit of fear. So I pray right now that you will have a double portion of joy and love and peace. I pray that you will have the power of God. That you will pray in the spirit. That you will release all what concerns you over to the Father. And that you will hear the voice of God. And the voice of God will hear you in the name of Jesus. And he will respond to you. He will respond to your needs. He will respond to the desires of your heart. Because you put your trust in him. God, I thank you for this day, God. I thank you, God, for this day. I thank you for my morning. I thank you, God. I bless your name, God, for you are my righteousness. You are my salvation. And I glorify your name. I exalt thee, Father God, for you are a blessing to me, Father God. You are a blessing to my household, Father God. And I pray right now that whoever's listening, that you will rejoice right now and begin to speak that God is a blessing to you. He is a blessing to your household. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yea, God, you are a shield, God. You are a buckler, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yea, God, you surround us with your shield, Father God, as we arise in the morning, God. Yea, God, you release your... You release your protection over us, God, because you are our salvation, Father God, in the name of Jesus. You are our deliverance in the name of Jesus. You are our refuge in the name of Jesus. You are our shelter in the name of Jesus. Yea, God, we put our hope in you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We praise you for your holiness, God. We thank you for your burning presence in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you provide us with a hedge of protection in the mighty name of Jesus. We glorify you, God. We thank you for your divine covering and your guidance over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. That's right. Praise God for his divine covering. Praise God for his divine covering and guidance. But this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let God order our steps in his word and let no iniquity have dominion over us in the name of Jesus Christ. Yea, God, we thank you, Lord, that you destroy our enemy, God. You combat those who come against us, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you, God. We bless you, God. We thank you for your holy, holy, holiness, God. We thank you for your presence in your Holy Spirit in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And I pray right now that who's ever listening, Abba Father, that their supplication and their needs will be met. I pray for healing right now, God. Healing, total healing and wholeness, Father God. May May they be complete, God, whole. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that the blood of Jesus will prevail for them. That they will recognize the benefits that we have in the blood. I pray your will be done, God. Not my will, but thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So we just thank God for this morning. uh, for, For the day. Amen. So whatever you have planned, go in peace. Amen. But go in joy. Just know our Father has you. Amen. He has you. But make it your business to get up every morning. And even before you go to bed, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Because this morning we're shaking out the assignments of the wicked. Amen. His assignments that he planted in your life today are nullified and void with the blood of Jesus. We send forth the Holy Spirit right now to burn away the sin that was planted in our lives. The the traps of the enemy. Because we now have on the whole armor of God. Amen. And we thank you, God, for your angels that you have given us. And we deploy our angels right now to gather our possessions and bring it back to our storehouses. Amen. So we call on our angels to gather our possessions, whatever was stolen while we were sleeping. We pray now that the angels of our God, that he has assigned to us, to you, amen, to me, amen, to gather our possessions and bring it back to our storehouse. And name your storehouse, amen. Put your location where you are, where you're going, amen. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. I, I just before I close, I was praying for one of my sons last week, and I was praying about their finances. 
And I told him, let God know where you are. Put a GPS on. Radius. What Are you in the south? Are you in the east? Are you in the north or the west? And name your household. What is the name of your house? I mean, because the enemy starts early stealing from us. He starts stealing from us from the time we were born into this world. He steals our virtue. He steals our our um, our calling, our anointing. He stole so much, and what he stole, he steals no more. Amen. He has to render it back to us one hundred fold. Amen. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So whatever he has taken from us illegally. He has to render it back. So, Father, over to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that whatever the enemy has stolen from you this day, he has to render it back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Double fold, double portion, 100 fold in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, prophetic utterance. May God be your portion. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day.